हाय एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू डॉक्टर जेपी क्लासेस आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट टू इंक्लूड इन योर रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट पार्ट वन इन दैट वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज ए रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट डिफरेंट फीचर्स ऑफ ए रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट देन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट द रिसर्च रिपोर्ट फॉर्मेट मेनली कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री मेन सेक्शन इंट्रोडक्टरी सेक्शन द मेन बॉडी ऑफ द रिपोर्ट एंड द रेफरेंस सेक्शन फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट इज व्हाट टू इंक्लूड इन योर रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट पार्ट वन वी हैड ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्टरी सेक्शन एंड द वन सब पॉइंट ऑफ द मेन बॉडी ऑफ द रिपोर्ट दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट टूडे we all are going to discuss about other sub section of the main body of the report this video is the continuation of part 1 in this video we all are discuss about other sub points of the main body of the report that are review of related literature design of the study analysis of data results and discussion summary and conclusion then recommendations for further investigation in this video we know clearly about the other important sub points of the main body of the report so friends watch this video till the end let's start after introduction the other important sub point of the main body of the report is review of related literature or analysis of previous research the review should describe summarize objectively evaluate and clarify previous research the review of related literature indicates what is known about the problem or topic select literature that is relevant or closely related to the problem and purpose emphasize the primary sources and use secondary sources selectively concentrate on scholarly research articles discuss your criteria for inclusion of articles its function is to educate the reader about the area under study a literature review is a comprehensive summary of previous research on a topic the literature review surveys scholarly articles books and other sources relevant to a particular area of research the main purpose of a literature review is to gain an understanding of the existing research and debates relevant to a particular topic or area of study and to present that knowledge in the form of a written report the literature review surveys scholarly articles books and other sources relevant to a particular area of research its main function is to educate the reader about the area under study then the design of the study in this section the other sub points are description of research design and source of data then sampling procedure methods and instruments of data gathering then statistical treatment let's discuss one by one this section provides a detailed description of the methodology used in the study that is population sample size and sampling techniques and tools used in the study the purpose of this section is to describe in detail how a researcher perform the study research design is the framework of research methods and techniques chosen by a researcher to conduct a study and set the methods and procedures used to collect and analyze data on variables specified in a particular research problem in this section the researcher describe in detail how to conduct a study what type of methods and procedure used to collect and analyze data in particular research problem then sampling procedures in this section the researcher describe how the study will be conducted when how where and by whom the data will be collected describe the design of the test will be conducted or statistical test will be selected in this section for a qualitative study this section may also include a detailed description of the nature and length of 
interactions with the participants and the description of participants includes information about how they were selected and mainly representative of the population to taking the entire population to conduct a research it is very difficult so the researcher select a sample select a sample that should be represent the population as a whole in this section the researcher select different statistical test to test hypothesis then the methods and instruments of data gathering the data gathering instruments most related to the research objectives highlight the breadth and depth of research identify variables describe the instruments will be used to gather data texts techniques surveys etc then provide reliability and validity information to show techniques are valid for the study while conducting research the investigator or researcher must identify the variables whether it is dependent variable or independent variable the independent variable as the cause and the dependent variable as the effect and the independent variable is what you change and the dependent variable is what changes happen because of that in this part of research report the investigator describe about the instruments at the same time also provide the information about reliability and validity of the instruments used for the particular study statistical treatment describe how the variables will be measured provide justification for selection of instruments based on theory research question subject characteristics etc in this section the researcher describe to measure the variables and also provide justification how this test will be conducted and why it is important to conduct a particular research in every research statistical treatment is very important because of maintaining a authenticity reliability and accuracy of the research then another sub point of the main body of research is analysis of data text with appropriate tables and figures this section describe the statistical techniques or the inferential interpretation that were applied to the data and the result of this analysis tables and figures are used to present findings or graphic form which aid clarity in findings for a reader in this section the researcher use different tables and figures to present the findings because of providing clarity about the data on the basis of data collection the investigator or researcher interpret the data and extract useful information and the researcher also present their findings in the tables figures or graphical form it is quite easier to the reader to know clearly about the particular research then results and discussion the results section is to tell the reader what was found in the study it includes the descriptive statistics for the relevant variables that is mean standard deviation then tell the reader what statistical test you used to test your hypothesis whether you reject hypothesis or fail to reject hypothesis the researcher used descriptive statistics to describe or summarize data in ways that are meaningful and useful purpose of a descriptive statistics is to summarize data and tell us about the major findings whether reject the hypothesis or fail to reject the hypothesis hypothesis is a testable statement about the relationship between two or more variables in which circumstances the researcher reject or fail to reject hypothesis that is if the tabulated value in hypothesis testing is more than calculated value then the null hypothesis is accepted otherwise it is rejected then what is null hypothesis 
a null hypothesis refers to a hypothesis that states that there is no relationship between the two population parameters. The discussion section is where the researcher interprets and evaluates the results. The discussion of a research report section presents the theoretical and practical implications of the findings and make recommendation for the future research. Discuss the results of current study explaining exactly what was found. Account for the research findings relate back to the previous research and theories highlighted in the introduction. Discuss the limitations of the current study and provide ideas for future research and end with a conclusion. In the discussion section, the researcher interprets and evaluates the results and explaining what exactly was found and discuss about the limitations of the present study and also provide the ideas for future research. Finally, the researcher end the report with a conclusion. Then what should include in summary and conclusions? Conclusion is a summary of the main ideas that come out from the discussion. It draws all arguments and findings together. It indicates whether hypotheses were accepted or rejected. It summarizes major findings of the study. The purpose of this section is to evaluate, interpret the result, especially with respect to the original research question. It also outlines the significance of the entire study and lastly avoid repeating information that you have already discussed. In this section, the researcher summarizes major findings of the study and also provides outline the significance of the entire study and indicates whether the hypothesis were accepted or rejected and be careful about the providing repeat information which are already discussed. Then the recommendations for further investigation. Here the investigator provides some recommendations for the future researcher or further investigation. The recommendations should be based on the conclusion of study, give a detailed description of the suggestion for future action based on the significance of the findings, include implications for future use of findings and recommendations for the future research. The recommendations should be logical, relevant, flexible, brief, clear and precise. Logical in the sense should flow logically from the conclusion. Relevant that means must meet the purpose and scope as stated in the introduction section and it should be flexible, it must be practical and workable. At the same time, the recommendations should be brief, clear and precise. The recommendations are quite helpful for the researcher or investigator for further investigation. Another section but important section of the main body of the report is the reference section. In the reference section, references and bibliographies are there. You should include a list of reference to key articles and texts discussed within your research report. The reference section provides the reader with all the information needed to seek out and obtain all original sources used in the research and it is written in an alphabetical order. In the reference section, both reference list or bibliography must be included. Full publication details should always be included in the reference list. Reference list and bibliography are sometimes used interchangeably. But the difference between reference and bibliography is a reference list contains only source you have cited in text in your assignment. But a bibliography is a list of all the source you use to generate your ideas about the topic including those cited in your assignment as well as those you did not cite. This reference section provides the reader 
to refer to all the original sources and learn more information. The bibliography and reference should be written in the alphabetical order. Then appendix section. This section provides a place for important information. It includes tools prepared by the researcher and used in the study. It may be letter, interview, names, raw data, and data analysis sheets. This section contains a list for all the primary and secondary research sources. This section at the end of a research report, it gives additional information on the topic. It provides further detailed information about the particular research. This section consists of sample questionnaire, interview questions, photographs, figures, tables, maps, computer programs, etc. Basically, it provides supplementary material usually attached at the end of a research report. To make effective project report, the investigator or researcher should include entire section in their project report. Friends, that's all about what to include in your research project. Friends, if my videos, both part 1 and part 2, provides you little bit information, then do like, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to write your comments. Your comments motivating me or inspiring me for making more videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.